Hi, I'm Romilly, and we're going to work on back, learning backstitch today. Backstitch has a similar, similar um, look at the end to the double running stitch that we did last week. And we'll start the same way with the right hand with an away waist knot, which you can then pull through the back. We're going to use the next line down. I'm not really worried on this sample sampler, which is more of a doodle cloth. If you want to, about making things line up, if you wanted to, you could baste a straight line or machine stitch a straight line down it before you start. So back stitch. We're going to bring it up at the end of the stitch, and then it'll go down backwards and down. So there's your first stitch. It's just a little straight stitch. Your second stitch starts the length of the stitch that you want, bringing it up there, and now you're going to go down in that first hole. So you're making, you're backing up to make the stitch, hence the name back stitch. So sideways and down. This is a very easy stitch for stat when you're doing stabbing. You can take your right hand up and down or you can also do it in the sewing method, same way you did with running stitch. So you go down in that same hole, coming up the next one, just keeping your hand on top of it. It's generally easier to keep your stitches straight if you do stabbing. And if you've got, if you're using two hands, it's even easier. So we're just going to go up and down. You'll notice if I didn't go down in this exact same hole, you get a little bit of a jog. It's not as straight as the uh, and even as the front. So you want to be careful that you go down in the same hole that you came up. Now if you're working on a design, this can follow the line of the design just like your running stitch or any other number of line stitches because they make a line and you'll want to make the stitches smaller if you go around curves. Oops. And that's back stitch. And I'm just going to stop and hold the back stitch here and move on to the left hand. So for left-handed people, instead of going right to left, we're going to work left to right. And again, we're going to start at the left side and bring our stitch up here. And then that goes backwards, she says, doing it with her right hand. Going back, catching it with the other hand. And that's your first stitch. Your second stitch is a little bit further ahead. Depending on the size of your thread, you can make your stitches longer or shorter as a standard. And you can just stab up and down. Your left hand can come under and pull it. So it goes back up and down. Or you can keep your right hand under it and pull it through or you can work it with a sewing method. You'll want to keep a, a finger underneath it to guide it, slide it, and there's the length of your stitch. Again, it's a little harder when you're doing a sewing motion. It's a little harder to make sure that your stitches all stay, stay the same length. But it can so fast, you can sometimes sew faster this way. So if you know where you're.